Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, I hope you're all having a really good day today. If you've ever seen Race Cancelled, if you've ever had Check Some, even if you've never had it, this is all of the things that I know of that can cause this to happen to you. First of all, a Race Cancelled will happen pretty much any time that you have an issue joining the server that isn't related to one of the most normal things that happen. Normally content manager will give you an error. It will tell you something like render or flames or sound or audio or textures are not working on a car and it's really easy to fix that. This is for the race canceled error or checksum that doesn't tell you what the heck you should do because it could be one of many things. So the first thing I want to show you guys, so everybody is on the same page right away, is if you go to Assetto Corsa in your Steam library and hit Manage, Browse Local Fire Files, this puts you into what is known as your Assetto Corsa root folder. Now when you download a mod, for example SOL, which I have downloaded right here, you need to have WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the files. I personally like WinRAR. To install a mod, and this goes for almost every single mod on this game, what I like to do is known as a manual install, which guarantees me success almost all the time when installing a mod. It doesn't have to go through Content Manager, there's no extra program to one run through. It is me putting the files where they have to go, and as long as I know where they go, I'm not going to have any issues. So to put the file in the right spot, all you're going to do is continue to open your download folders like this until you come into a spot where you see, oh, my main folder has a system file, it has an app file, oh these folders all match, all these folders match. Let's go ahead and drag all of this into the white area over here or black. Do not drag it into a folder, make sure you are dragging it into the main folder, not any of these over here. Rewrite the files, replace the files, whatever, and now your content will be installed. This goes for cars, tracks, whatever it might be. You can always download the mod, open the files like I did. Once you get deep into the file, you will start to see things that match up somewhere with your Assetto Corsa folder, and that's where the files go. This is a solution to everybody that has missing content and can't figure out how to install it by either hitting the install button or using Content Manager to extract the files. Do this instead. This will work pretty much 100% of the time. Now that we've gone over that, let's go over Race Cancelled and check some. One thing I want to show you guys is how to clean install Assetto Corsa and make sure that you run it properly the first time and everything gets installed properly. So if we want to clean install the game because we've had Race Cancelled and we just want it to, to work right out of the box and we don't want to mess around with it anymore, we don't want to spend another two hours figuring it out, Let's go ahead and clean install this game. So again, hit manage, browse local files, and what you will do is you will hit Assetto Corsa here and go back to Steam Apps Common, and you are going to right click, and you are going to delete your entire Assetto Corsa folder, and then delete it from the recycling bin if you need to do that as well. The next step is to type in percent app data percent in your Windows search bar. It will bring you an app data folder. Your app data folder is normally located under your user and the main user that you're using that you've downloaded your stuff on. As you can see here, this folder is darker than the rest of them. So up in the view section up top, what you need to do is you need to unhide the folder. It's that simple, that's all you have to do is unhide the folder and it will allow you to access it. If you have any issue unhiding this folder, there is multiple guides on Google for different types of systems, different types of windows, all that stuff, on how to access this folder depending on how your situation is. 
So if you don't see your app data folder, now is a time to look up a guide on Google on how to get the app data folder. And then I believe it is going to be inside local. You will see AC tools content manager. This is going to delete your entire content manager and all of the data in content manager. After you've done these two steps, you are now good to go to steam manage and uninstall the game. You can now continue with installing the game. Once the game is installed on steam, what you need to do is play the game in steam once before you download content manager, play the game in steam, take a default car on a default track and see if the game will play. Also, this gives Steam and Assetto Corsa and your computer the chance to communicate with each other and install all of the files to run the game correctly, and you shouldn't have to do verify game integrity file after. Not for everybody, but for some people, when you launch Steam, it properly installs the files and you can now play the game. Some people are unable to play the game online if they do not play the game in Steam once first. So now that we've gone over that, once you have Content Manager back up, it's going to give you a window and you need to make sure that your Steam ID is the same as your Steam ID on Steam and your profile is the same and that the file is in the right location. You can see that under Content Manager General. Another thing you should do while you are in here is hit Drive and make sure the game launcher is on app ID and that you start Steam if this isn't running. And also, for some people who have an old system or are running a 32-bit operating system, you can try to fix Race Cancelled by hitting Use 32-bit version. Another thing that is known for causing connection issues while online is if you do not have your online name checked and set, to a name that you want to be. By default, it is blank or it is player, and that causes people problems with playing the game online. So after all of that, you know that everything is going to be set up correctly. Your next step is simply going to be installing Custom Shaders Patch and SOL 2.2.5 the link is in the description and you can follow the same steps that I just showed you to install SOL 2.2.5. So for content manager for custom shaders patch, what you're going to do after is go to custom shaders patch here in content manager. If you do not have custom shaders patch, it is going to ask you to install it, which you will do. And when you get to abouts and updates here, you are going to hit the newest version that you have and it is also a good time to hit the white bars up here and hit update content manager if there is an update here to happen. What that means is that now you will have content manager, you will have SOL, it won't be active yet but you will have it, you'll have CSP and you'll have played the game in Steam you have updated your Steam ID, your game launcher, and your online name. Everything technically should work. If you need to install SOL completely, you also have to come here into Assetto Corsa apps and enable all of the SOL apps here. Personally, myself, I recommend enabling developer apps and whatever else you want. These are all pretty beneficial to have down the road. So you should be good at this point to just go ahead and join an offline session on Content Manager. I recommend going to Drive and just taking a car that you have unlocked and going on a normal track, all right? So a stock track with the game. And if you can load in and this works, great. Make sure it's on practice. Awesome. You can load in. This works. Perfect. Hopefully what we can do now is go to the server that we want to join. I highly recommend going to my Discord and using my JDM pack download and joining my JDM server if you have the Japanese pack. It's a really good running server. It's easy to join and it shouldn't cause you any problems at all. So again, that's what you need to do and hopefully everything is good. We went through all of this stuff here. 
you should be good to play. Um, it should be noted that some servers need SOL and CSP versions to play. I've showed you the 32-bit only. I've showed you the DirectX, which is in AC video here. If you just go down to video, some people have an old system and they don't have DirectX 11 or 12. It's a very rare case. You can try to play it with DirectX 10 there. And by doing all of these steps, that is pretty much the majority. Again, I keep bringing this on the screen because I want something for you to be able to reference consistently throughout the video and see the different types of things that will generate race canceled and checksum errors. Another thing that should be noted with the checksum errors, they are mostly just a mismatch of data files on the game and in the server compared to your system. Checksums usually are because data folders do not match or files are not one-to-one -one with each other. One other small thing I want to show you real quick is if you are in your custom shaders patch here and you see an error anywhere that says you are on version 1.16.4 and you need to be on 1.16.3, one other thing we can do is we can go to our Steam folder again browse your local files and we're going to scroll down to something that is called change log and we are going to make sure that it either says 1.16.4 or 1.16.3 depending on how your game installed and how everything goes you may need to take the 4 at the top and simply change it to a 3 or take the 3 at the top and simply change it to a 4 for some reason, this is different for everybody. I don't have any explanation. So now that you know all of this information here, hopefully at the end of the day, your game will be installed properly. And one last thing I forgot is here, you just want to go to SOL and make sure it's on SOL 2.5 and weather effects. This will make sure that if you do join a server with SOL, that everything is up to date and running properly. If that doesn't fix your race canceled and you literally have gone as far as clean installing everything and following all of this stuff and you've watched this video, please come on in and join the Discord. I would like to help people that have unique problems. However, this is usually all of the fixes for race canceled. It will get fixed one way or another. Personally, if you have race cancelled, I highly recommend that you just clean install everything, get it set up right the first time, and not have to worry about it. Also, it is so much easier for me to help people when they watch a video like this, and they follow all these steps, and they go, Hey Mike, I followed everything you said, the game still isn't working, at which point I know that now I can start looking deeper and going to other things that might be a bigger problem and trying to get everything fixed there. For some people, it's their RAM. For some people, they don't have enough storage. For some people, the files aren't on the same drive. There is many things at the end of the day that can be miscommunicated with your computer and the game and the servers, and we can figure it out. We can figure out if it's hardware, software, we can figure out if it's a you thing, if it's a server thing. So give me a shot. I'm here to help you guys. Join the Discord. Come on in. Say what's up. It's not about what you got. It's about how you set it up. Stay gaming, everybody. Have a great day, and I hope to see you out there on these streets. Take care, all.